All right, in this video we're going to see a guided video tour of the Math 152 class. Now we're recording this for the summer semester 2017. So if you're watching this in the fall or spring or summer of a different year, then the course layout may be slightly different, but it should be basically the same. Or else contact me and tell me to redo this video. Um, this is the main page you get to when you click into the course from your home menu. And uh, you can see that you have menu on the top left that are pretty much identical. And these allow you to get to the messaging system, the discussion forums, the calendar, and the gradebook. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, talk about those as they come up. Um, first off, make sure you read any announcements that are listed at the top of the main page. After doing that, we're going to go into one of the experience folders. And we're going to go through these eight experience folders in order. Um, so depending on what is due and what's listed in the announcement, go ahead and work on that. Uh, the first one you go into is obviously experience one. And uh, there's a couple green folders here that have you do some orientation materials and uh, content. Um, and then there's the standard layout for an experience that follows. Now, um, you see right now we're in a folder within a folder and uh, it's often this point where students get sort of confused on how to navigate back outside of these folders. Um, so first notice that at the top here there is a list of breadcrumbs and these are links to the different levels of the course site. So the home menu where you choose your course, the main page of the course, and then the folder that I was in for the first experience. So if I just want to go back to the first experience, I can click there. I don't have to click the back button on my uh, web browser. Um, and if I need to go from a folder within a folder back to the main page, I can go directly there with one click by clicking on the Math 152 course link. So definitely take advantage of those breadcrumbs to get in and mainly get out of folders. Um, and you'll notice anything underlined here ends up being a link that you can click on. All right, so first assignment is to post a autobiography, and this is a forum assignment. Um, so we'll have critical thinking uh, forum assignments later on in the course, and they'll all have a similar setup. A uh, forum is just a discussion board, and you can always click to see the instructions if you need to see those. Um, and then when you want to add your thread, go ahead and hit Add New Thread and type in the subject and the content. You can format the text with full word processing capabilities, including inserting video, images, links, files, and math symbols and graphs. Uh, there's an assignment that introduces you to how to use most of these things as well. So go ahead and uh, put in this information and post it there. Now when you come to a discussion, or sorry, a forum, and a bunch of people have already posted in Ohm, you can go ahead and click on the title of their, sorry, the topics by title, and you can see their thread, and then you can hit reply to reply to them. And the reply works just like a uh, regular post. Um, and you typically going to have two replies required for each forum assignment, so make sure you reply to two other people. If you post early, come back towards the deadline, as that's when most people submit their posts. Uh, next type of assignment to look at is the assessments. Um, in particular, the first one is the syllabus quiz. And with the homework assignments, you're typically going to have this same layout where you have a list of all the questions, and you can click here to move from question to question. You can do the questions in any order. Um, each one is worth one point, and it says that you have zero out of one when you haven't done it. Um, but then when you submit and get it correct, it'll give you one out of one, and your grade will then increase. Now, if you happen to get a problem wrong, then oh, sorry, thought I was getting that wrong. When you get a problem wrong, you'll see that it gets marked as wrong. And uh, doesn't have the regeneration. All right, uh, so um, on this problem, you can actually try limited times. 
uh, I will show you how to reattempt on a home practice, sorry, a homework assignment in a second. So um, you can just click on that to get back out of the assignment. Uh, every time you hit submit on a question, it's going to automatically save that stuff. And that should get you through those first four orientation assignments. Um, there's a lot of course information here. So information about the textbook and a uh, link to the syllabus and information about the instructor and the gradebook and all kinds of stuff. So make sure you read through all these things, click on these links and read everything in this folder. Then you're ready for a typical experience, right? Where we actually do some mathematics. Um, we've got the learning outcomes. So read through those to know what you're going to be covering. Then there's the textbook, right? Don't just watch the videos. The textbook a lot of times has good examples that can't be covered in videos. So make sure you read through the textbook. And uh, then once you do that, watch the videos. And you can read these, watch these as embedded videos, or you can actually open them up in YouTube by clicking on well, YouTube. Welcome to a video on solving one step equation. Uh, then we have uh, homework and a critical thinking for most of these experiences. So homework is like the course policy quiz, uh, so a bunch of automatically graded problems. And uh, here I can show you how to get a problem wrong. Most of these will have you get three attempts. After the third attempt, you will get marked wrong, get no points, um, but you'll have the option to try another similar question. So. I'll be able to get a new problem. Notice this one says 4x plus 8 equals 8. When I hit try a new problem, I get a new problem, but it's testing the same concept. Uh, once I get that one right, then I get credit, and once you have credit, you are good to go. So uh, if you now if you get it right right on the third attempt, or you get it right by using your notes or watching a video, I strongly recommend you go back and redo the problem to get it right without any learning aids and get it right on the first attempt. So I challenge you to do that. Um, make sure you can actually do it so you're prepared for the quizzes and tests. Critical thinking is like a forum assignment, so the directions will be given in a, a linked document, so open those. And then it'll have the guidelines or instructions. It'll have the rubric that's used to grade you, let you know what's needed, and then it'll have all the questions. So go ahead and answer those questions in the forum where is it? Oh, by clicking here into the forum and hit a new thread, right, and post your answers to those questions. Um, make sure that if you're doing writing problems that you are using proper grammar and writing in complete sentences. Uh, each of the experiences has its own discussion forum just for questions. Um, if you are on a homework problem, you can always post to the forum. So feel free to post that question to the forum and say, you know, I was solving this and uh, this. And then you can show your work and we can try to help it figure out where I was going wrong. All right, so most of these experiences are going to be pretty similar. Uh, we do, of course, have the midterm and final and we have the whole quizzes. So uh, you can see there's four quizzes and those will show up in there. Um, those are similar to a homework problem except they're timed and when you're doing this uh, you only get three attempts so there's no try similar problem. So you have to get it right on the first, second, or third try. In addition you're gonna have a small penalty for getting it wrong one or two times. So if you were to get it right on the third try that's only gonna get you 80 percent, uh, sorry, 70 percent credit. No, 80%. Yeah. Um, so that's why I said when they're doing the homework problems to make sure that you can get it right without learning aids, or just videos, and get it right on the first try. When it comes time to take the midterm or final exam, make sure you go through the review assignment. And then only when you are ready to actually take the exam would you click on this, right? Don't click on it to look in there ahead of time. Because once you open this up, you are stuck taking this. Uh, the clock is ticking. Um, if for some reason your computer crashes or your browser crashes, you should be able to open this up and continue on. Um, but you will not be stopping the clock for that time. So 
Uh, make sure you have a reliable internet and computer set up and click in and you'll see it's set up just like a quiz uh, except we have a 25 percent reduction in score um, if we get it wrong the first time and then no third try so uh, definitely want to try to get those right on the first try now uh, you can get directly into those critical thinking assignments uh, and other forums by clicking on forums at the top so here's all the forums and you go directly to those there's also a calendar if you go to click on calendar at the top and you can show the entire semester at a glance you can see deadlines for all assignments and uh, You can even click to access that assignment. So click on the assignment and you can go directly to it. All right. Uh, messages is next. So uh, if you need to contact me, the best way to contact me is by sending a message and um, just do send new message and select Matthew Watts, Watts Matthew. And, uh, and then go ahead and send me a message and I will get back to you. You can also email me or call me um, with my office number, um, but the quickest way is just to send me a message through the Lumen Ohm site. Last but not least is the gradebook. So, um, sorry. Uh, when you click on gradebook, you will see a list of all the assignments and the categories and the average in each category and then your weighted total. Um, now there's two numbers down here. There's past due and past due and available. So past due only includes assignments that are past due. Um, but say you submit to the quiz one and it's not yet past the deadline for quiz one. You may want to know well what is my grade going to be once that quiz one is included. Um, so for that you will look at the past due and available so uh, sometimes one of these is a better indicator than the other. Uh, in general, past due is probably the better indicator of your grade in the class. Now, with the critical thinking assignments, uh, you are getting a grade initially of zero on these because they're forum assignments until I go in and manually grade them. So unlike the quizzes and the homework, which are automatically graded by the OM site, uh, the critical thinking requires manual grading. And uh, since those deadlines are on Sundays, I'll be grading those on Monday. So you might see your grades dip a little in uh, value um, once those become past due on Monday morning, um, but then Monday evening I should have graded them and you should see that grade more accurate. So you can also uh, click to see feedback and uh, click on the number of the, the grade number in the grade column and you can actually go back to that assignment and see what your answers were. So that about does it as we've kind of seen everything that the course has to offer. Um, if you have any other questions, go ahead and post in uh, one of the forums. Uh, I believe there's a forum for questions about the course. And uh, otherwise, get started on the Experience 1. And I look forward to a great semester with all of you.